And we also picked something up from Dior. Oh my goodness, their quality is so amazing for the price that you pay. I just had to document her beautiful bag that she got from Paris. And here are some vivid highlights. Oh, new pattern. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. It is the weekend and I thought I'd vlog this weekend because I have a few things that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so we have some guests coming over and in time I managed to pick up some new pieces from Hermes and Dior homeware that I've been waiting for because a couple of the items have been out of stock. So we had paid the deposit and they just arrived in time. So I wanted to unbox them with you and show you what I got. And also if you watched my previous video, I did mention that we changed the layout of our lounge a little bit so that we create a bit more free space in preparation for the baby coming so we can place some baby gyms on the floor or something like that. So I just wanted to show you a little furniture update as well because we got a new piece at the back there which I am obsessed with. So yeah, let me show you a couple of things and then the plan for today is um, we're just going to get dinner ordered for the guests. Our friends are coming over but I am going to make a fruit platter for us to enjoy after dinner so I'm gonna go do some quick grocery shopping for the fruits and make the fruit platter and just get ready for the guests to come so this is the new layout of our lounge if you guys remember our old lounge you'd remember that the TV unit was on that wall there where the sideboard is now and the couch was the other way around so it was lying flat this way but what we noticed with that sort of a layout is that it was great for dividing spaces between the lounge area and the dining area which is over here I need to clean up this dining table before the guests arrive um, anyway but there was literally just a tiny little corridor space here between the dining table and the sofa and there was really not much space between the sofa and the TV that way so we thought about it and we decided to flip the sofa around that way and TV around that way and then what we noticed was that that wall where the TV used to be looked so bare it was unbelievable we thought we didn't really need any more furniture but because it looked so bare we ended up getting a sideboard I got a lot of my furniture from castery.com.au oh my goodness their quality is so amazing for the price that you pay so I'm gonna link to some of my favorite pieces down below but anyway this is called the Harper sideboard and it was around 1300 Australian dollars but look how nice the wood material is and I just love all the design details it opens like so we don't really have much in there at the moment um, but I thought that was just so cool and we were planning on getting an artwork for the wall there because the wall looked really bare once the sideboard came in but we haven't managed to find anything that we loved and also we're really trying to get a piece of original art maybe by an Australian artist that's still quite affordable from maybe an up-and-coming artist we checked out a couple of galleries the Wentworth galleries in the city and also Martin galleries in Northbridge if you guys live in Sydney and know any great places where we can buy some affordable original Australian artwork from artists that are up and coming do let me know I'd love to know where else we can look at and then I just moved my coffee table books and the little decoration up to the sideboard and we bought this vase and leaves from Will and Barrow and got a little tray with a shallow little bowl to prop up the height and put some of my favorite candles there so that is the lounge room update and now let me share with you a couple of homeware pieces that we've been waiting on from Hermes so we've got two orange boxes as you can see and we also picked something up from Dior those of you guys who watch my channel regularly may be quite familiar with what's in this Dior box but I'm gonna get into the Hermes boxes first so let's get into the bigger one first guys it is unbelievable how long you have to wait for some of these Hermes homeware pieces their tableware ranges have been so popular that yeah I think we waited like a good three four months for this but our teapot finally came in the mosaic gold collection you guys know that we've been slowly building up our mosaic fine china collection and yeah because we're gonna serve dessert well fruit and tea after dinner i thought this was the perfect timing that this arrived there's really not much to it just a teapot and the lid so that is the first item that we picked up and then this is an item that would go perfectly with this so this was a little bit of a spur of the moment purchase so 
Ta-da! We picked up the milk jug to go with the teapot. So yeah, that will be a perfect little set for our little tea time later, which I'm really excited about. And let's get into the Dior box. We've been thinking about this purchase for a little while because it's kind of bougie and expensive for what they are, but we kept thinking about it, absolutely loved it. The packaging is probably a little bit over the top for what it is, but we love some nice packaging, don't we all? And ta-da! We picked up some glasses. You guys remember if you watched one of my vlogs from last year, um, we got this set for a housewarming gift for one of our friends and when we saw them to grab these as gifts, we absolutely fell in love with them. So these are just cold drink glasses in six beautiful vibrant colors. They just do amazing colors. So let me just unpack all of them and show you. Mind you, when we got these as a gift for our friends, it came packaged a lot nicer. It actually came in a little box that already had the little slots for the cups to sit in. But I don't know, we just got it like this. Do you remember how it was really nicely packaged? Well, hubby's just waiting for me because we're gonna go to the shop soon. But this is terrible. The box is not terrible, but you remember how nice the other one was? Hmm. Anyway, these are all the beautiful colors. We've got a green, a blue, yellow, black, red, and purple. And we thought these will be great to add some splashes of colors to the table setting and added bonus It will be really easy to tell which one your cup is We all had those moments where we've put our cups down and we all get confused whose cups whose so yeah We thought that was great. Oh before we head out. I just wanted to show you our new purchases <laughs> Really excited about the teapot and the milk jug. I don't actually know the name for this milk creamer, creamer. Mm. and then our six cups and the new layout of our living space. But anyway, we're gonna head out and do some fruit shopping now. A little detour guys, I came to Kmart because I realized we have too many people and we need to use the outdoor dining set as well for some of the friends. So I realized we don't have enough placemats and I looked up that Kmart has these kind of acceptable looking placemats for like $1.75 each. I thought about getting the paper ones that you just use and throw out but I thought these are reusable and I can use these later when I need the outdoor dining table so that's what I'm doing. cut up all the fruit after we were done shopping and I am pretty happy with how the platter turned out. I just wanted to keep it simple. There were platter ideas with like pineapples and all of that but that was just going to take too long to cut up. So I made up two platters. Um, I wrapped that one up already. I'm going to put them in the fridge. Hey guys, it is the next day. It got so busy after I prepared the fruit platters and all our friends came. It was a really, really great night. The takeaway Chinese food was really amazing. So we had a really great time. Our friends stayed over for like four or five hours and it was so late by the time they left. Um, so we cleaned up a little bit, went to bed and woke up a little bit late this morning. Today I'm gonna go and catch up with my bestie who I haven't seen for what feels like weeks. I caught up with her once after I came back from Korea and then we literally haven't seen each other and that was a really brief catch up so we're gonna just have a quick coffee and then I'm heading to my mum's place she is giving us some food oh my goodness if I didn't have my mom I don't know what we would be eating half the time I really need to learn to cook but I just don't have a lot of things that I can cook at the moment I will definitely work on that but I'm gonna go over there and I have been getting bigger with this pregnancy so a lot of my jumpers are not fitting and it is getting really cold here in Sydney so mom is gonna let me borrow some of her Uniqlo puffer jackets that she doesn't wear because she's a couple of sizes bigger than me so instead of spending money and buying things that won't fit me next winter I'm gonna borrow a couple of her jackets so that's what I'm up to this morning I met up with my bestie, we're having our coffee, mine's decaf and I just had to document 
her beautiful bag that she got from Paris earlier this year. By the way, we're gonna do a whole interview with her because she got so many bag offers while she was in Paris. But look at this, this is the most beautiful ur bag that I've seen. And she, this is her daily bag now. How cute! And can we have a look inside? Look at this. She just, she's a good girl. She just had her yoga. And so there's socks and all that stuff. But, oh, she bought an organizer. Is it like a belt one? Yeah. So, yeah. It's a nice, spacious bag for like an everyday bag. And I just love this navy with this grey. Got a back pocket. It comes with this pouch as well. Candy little thing. And then we just put our phone in the back pocket. Easy access. We love a good external back pocket. It's got, and she's got the larger iPhone too, so that fits well. Perfect. <laughs> For the valuables. <laughs> Beautiful. So maybe we shouldn't close this bag. Maybe edit this bit. <laughs> We're gonna fast forward this bit. I've always loved the her bag, but haven't really come across a print or color combination that I loved but this one is probably the closest to what I would actually consider anyway stay tuned we're gonna do a whole video on my bestie's Paris experience at Hermes and how she scored five bags <laughs> stay tuned a little change of scenery guys we came out to celebrate Happy's birthday which is today we came to this uh, really nice restaurant in Circular Key in Sydney but it's even better because there's vivid Sydney going on at the moment where um, the whole city is lit up with beautiful light shows so yeah we're gonna have some really nice dinner here and then show you around how beautiful the vivid Sydney is too so we're gonna show a little bit that's the Harbour Bridge vivid highlights. The Sydney icons, Harbour Bridge and the Opera House all lit up beautifully. I don't think we're ever leaving here if we keep taking more of these. 
every time there's a new color. Hey.